Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna show you how to boot Raspbian Pixel from a USB drive or a USB hard drive with no SD card. When you're done with this, you'll be able to run this operating system from a USB drive with no SD card at all in your Raspberry Pi 3. This only works with the Raspberry Pi 3. So with this method, we will have to flash the SD card one time with the newest Raspbian Pixel. We'll have to boot it on the Raspberry Pi 3 and flash the one-time programmable memory chip inside of the Pi 3. It's very easy to do. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, you're gonna grab Etcher or Win32 Disk Imager, whatever version you like to flash your SD cards with. And here I have a 16 gigabyte class 10 SD card. And I also have the newest version of Raspbian Pixel. I will leave links in the description for you guys. We're gonna open up Etcher. I'm gonna select my image, desktop, Raspy and Jesse. This is the pixel version. Select my drive, which will be my mass storage device. Yours will probably already be chosen here. Make sure you're choosing your SD card and nothing else. And we're gonna flash that image. So when this SD card is finished flashing, I'm actually also going to flash a 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive. We're gonna need to boot from the SD card. We're gonna do a few commands in the terminal. And then from now on, we can boot Raspbian Pixel from a USB drive or a USB hard drive, whatever you prefer using. Now, if you're using a USB hard drive, I recommend a powered USB hard drive or a Western Digital Pi drive. Let's let this finish up. We'll also need to flash our USB drive, and then we'll get to work on the Pi 3. Okay, so my SD card is finished flashing. I'm gonna go ahead and flash my USB drive now, so I definitely suggest you do the same thing. If you're using a USB drive, flash that. If you're using a hard drive, go ahead and flash that. If you're using Etcher instead of Win32 Disk Imager, and you don't see your hard drive or USB drive listed here when you try to flash it, you go to the settings icon, use unsafe mode. Be careful when using this mode because you could flash your internal hard drive. Make sure you know what drive you're flashing. So I'm going to flash my USB drive. I'm gonna skip this part. We're gonna move right over to the Raspberry Pi. We're gonna set this up and flash the one-time programmable memory that's built into the Raspberry Pi 3 so we can start booting from USB. All right, guys, so I have my Raspberry Pi 3 booted up. I'm online. Now, if you wanna do this from another PC using SSH, you can do that but I'm using the Pi itself. You will need the latest version of Raspbian Pixel. If you're on an older version, you're going to need to update. We're gonna to head to this site here, open up a terminal window. This is going to explain everything we need to get USB boot mode up and running. Right here, it says we need to flash the one-time programmable memory on the Raspberry Pi. If you're not updated, if you're not using the same version of Raspbian Pixel I linked in the description, you will need to run this. sudo apt get update, sudo apt get upgrade. That will upgrade your system to the latest version. All we're gonna do is copy this right here. Copy, paste, press enter, and you're good to go. Now we can take our SD card out, place our freshly flashed USB drive into the Pi and boot it up from that. If you read through here, it also explains how to remove it if you do not want it on there anymore. If you wish, you can remove the program USB boot mode line from the config text so that if you put your SD card in another Raspberry Pi, it won't program USB boot mode. If you don't want USB boot mode on a Pi, don't use this SD card in another one. You can edit the config text using the nano editor, or you can reach the config text on the SD card from a Windows PC. But we can't flash the one-time programmable memory unless we have Raspbian booted up like we just did. I'm gonna move over, take my SD card out, place my freshly flashed USB drive into my Pi, and boot it up. I'm gonna show you that it boots into Raspbian Pixel with no SD card at all. All right, so here's my Pi 3. I have my SD card removed, as you can see. And I'm gonna place my USB drive into one of the three USB ports on the front. Get the SD card out of the way. I also have a keyboard connected. 
can just plug it in right here. No SD card. I'm going to power it up. Now, the first boot detecting the USB drive is a bit long compared to putting an SD card in. It takes about five seconds to detect that you're wanting to boot from a USB drive. Green light will come on. And it'll start booting right about now. So on the first boot with the USB drive, it's going to automatically expand the file system and then boot directly into the Raspbian Pixel desktop for us. And we can use this operating system directly from the USB with no SD card at all. So there we are. We're now running Raspbian Pixel from a USB port. I'll just show you that I do have 105 gigabytes free. This was a 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 SAN disk drive, and it works really well. I definitely suggest getting something like the Western Digital Pi drive or something. You can get more storage for cheaper going that way, and they just work really well. You don't need a powered hub with one of those. Really appreciate you guys watching. All you really need to do is follow that guide on the raspberrypi.org's website. Links are in the description. Hopefully you got this up and running. Like I said, if it doesn't work the first time, place your SD card back in, take your USB drive out, and try it again. That's all you can really do. Open up Terminal and try flashing that one-time programmable memory one more time. It should boot up. Now I have noticed that USB boot is a bit slower to initialize. Now it boots up faster, but it takes about five seconds for your green light to start flashing on the Pi itself. Compared to like an SD card, when you put an SD card and plug it in, it automatically starts booting. There is a wait period about five seconds before it detects the USB hard drive, and then it'll start booting. Like always, thanks for watching.